Hi, I'm Ned Russin from Title Flight, and this is Pretty in Noise. as well as your visuals always remind me of early 90s stuff. I like fascinated with the late 80s, early 90s music and why? Um, I don't know if fascinated would be the right word, but yeah, we have some sort of affinity for it. Um, I, I guess mainly because that's kind of the, the generation that we grew up in, you know, uh, so we kind of caught the tail end of when MTV was still relevant and when alternative rock bands meant something and could play to a lot of people and, and be on the radio and stuff and and they were doing interesting, exciting things. And then when we got more into uh, underground music and, and whatever you want to call it, uh, we were also really into bands from that era who kind of just missed the mainstream, but it was still possible that they could be extremely popular so it was it was a I think it's a really interesting time because you had a lot of people that were interested and involved in music and a lot of people trying to make it big and a lot of people who sounded like bands that were selling millions of records who just didn't care and you know were just as good but they would play to a couple hundred people and sell a couple thousand records or something you know I, th I think it's just a really interesting time and um, I, it, it just kind of I guess formed our visual identity at a young age of stuff that we were interested in and we started doing the band and we started making music videos. A lot of our reference points were stuff that was from that area because from that era because that's what uh, interested us. We can only speak for ourselves, but I think that it, it has something to do with uh, maturation. You know, we're, we're growing up, as weird as that is, and uh, we like to reflect growth through music. And uh, so when we sit down to write a record, we try and capture ourselves at that moment uh, sonically. So. Uh, I guess we're a little bit more subdued now than we were a couple years ago. Um, I don't know. I don't know if that's entirely true. I take that back. You know, I'm, I'm, there's still stuff that makes me angry. There's still stuff that I scream about. There's still stuff that I see that makes me irate. But um, I, I'm more focused on trying to find a, a nice balance and trying to find uh, some sort of purpose to it and some sort of resolution to my anger uh, rather than... When I was younger, I would just be angry and content with being angry to a certain extent. Um, my interest and my appreciation and my involvement in, in faster, angrier, more aggressive music has only grown since I was younger, I think. I, I play in uh, a couple other bands that are aggressive music, uh, and they're very just kind of primitive uh and and early us hardcore inspired and uh and then i have title fight where it, it's the opposite and I, i it's it's kind of nice to have that balance where i can walk both lines and be happy within both contexts may i ask how old you are i'm just turned 25 
you know, there was a long period of time when we were kind of just paying our expenses. We were able to just cover our flights and we were able to just cover our van rental and stuff, but that was cool. We got to go to so many countries and so many different cities and meet so many people and get back and not owe anybody any money, and that's cool. Um, and I think that kind of mentality also is another cool thing about being in a band because it teaches you that you're able to live outside of this this idea that society kind of presents as the only option as a young person or as a, a, a person interested in, in traveling or in, in other places. You know, it, it's kind of... Uh, it, it sets you up to be interested in exploration and interested in, in ideas that seem impossible and stuff, you know. As a... We came to Europe for the first time when I was 19 years old, um, you know, and it was just crazy. We went and we just played, I don't know, probably 20, 30 shows or something and, and went back home and and I lost 15 pounds in the tour because I, I didn't have any money to buy any food or anything and, and I just ate apples backstage and stuff like that. And, and when you do that at a young age, you realize I just went and I came back and I'm still here and I had all these experiences and... I could do anything like that, you know, if I just save up my money, I can I can go anywhere and do anything and, and bum my way around. I think it's a really kind of a cool, cool attitude that you get from being in a band. Most of our viewers are playing in bands themselves. Do you have any advice for younger bands? Um, this is a very loaded question because the thing is I have a lot of advice for, for everybody involved in music. Um, but the thing is, the, the most important thing and, and my biggest blanket statement is just, just, would just be to have fun. I think that's the most important thing. I think music is, is incredible. I think it's, it's, I don't even know how to talk about it. You know, it's, it's such a huge important thing and it's universal and we're in, we're in Germany right now and we've been all over Europe for the last month and we're going to Central and South America and, and been to Japan and all these crazy places and Australia and all this stuff and we do all this because we play songs that people connect with and that's the power of music, not that not that it empowers us to travel places, but the fact that people can connect with a song that you write in your basement by yourself and somebody hears that literally across the world and they can relate to that and they, they feel something, they feel some emotion, that's incredible. And when you put that at the forefront of your band and your creative expression, that's when I think truly important and powerful things happen when you do it for the sake of of expression and you do it for the sake of creativity rather than the sake of popularity because you know you could you could be in a band and very well uh represent yourself in a certain way and put your music out in a certain way and you could do very well for yourselves and you could um travel the world and do all these things and probably make some good money while you're at it if if you want to you know but but uh, at the end of the day, that's a lot of work for not that much payoff. You know, you could you could invest in a lot of other careers that will will continually push you uh, financially to a better place. Whereas music, it's it's uh, it's rough. It's rough. I can tell you that firsthand. But if you're doing a band, just do it because you want to do it, because it's fun and because you have something to say, no matter what it is. Because I think that's the most important thing. And there's a lot of other things in the professional aspect of it that I think are important that people don't talk about with young and up-and-coming bands. And, and that's the fact that, yeah, there is some people that, that will take advantage of you, and there are some people who, who see young bands as uh, a kind of easy way into money quickly. You know, and when a band starts doing well and they start to tour and they start to tell, sell T-shirts or something like that, and somebody comes in and tries to take a piece of that pie and they promise you this 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 growth and all this stuff it's it seems very promising 
and you feel like nothing can go wrong. And I feel like that's, it, it can be true. And, you know, maybe you meet a person who really is genuine and who knows their way around uh, the music business or whatever. And it, they'll be a great person to have on your side. But I'd say for the most part, um, you know, everything can be done by yourself. Everything can be done uh, by your own means of being just a, a person in a computer. You know, you can order records, you can, you can do interviews, you can do all these things just uh, by yourself. And I, I think uh, a lot of people should focus on that before focus, focusing on getting help from uh, somebody else. I think that's, that's I don't want to say it's a lost art form because it's still very relevant, but I feel like it's not as, uh, it, it's just not as, uh, not as focused on as it should be with young and up-and-coming bands who, who think that they need to, to fit some certain criteria to get to the next level. It can, it can be easily attained by yourself.